Hey everybody, and welcome to our premiere episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. Keith, my friend, we did it. Here How we are, are you, Jeff? It's amazing. It's amazing. I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time, and uh, we're finally here. It is 3 o'clock on Wednesday, first, first episode. We're done with season one, off to season two with a new name. New attitude. Yes. New, New attitude. I like that. New attitude. I've been thinking all day, Keith, like I've been trying to come up with my really my like signature opener. Like, welcome to the shallow water and put some music to it or something like that. That sounds good. I know, but Little I didn't Metallica. Nothing ever really Nothing happened. Nothing happened. No. So who knows? <laughs> Coming up, maybe in the next few weeks. Um, we'll have to come up with something like that. But uh, yeah, so welcome everybody. We're really happy to have you here. We're excited to be in front of you doing this um, and for the opportunity to do season two. We're really lucky and we're really awesome and it's all because of you guys watching and because of our incredible sponsors. Yes, which amazing sponsors. Oh man, they've been so great. So we're really happy. Everybody give them a big shout out. Um, we're going to be uh, uh, talking about them a little bit later. We do have a ton of stuff to give away. Uh, we've got a big program today, so lots of lots of stuff happening. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, everybody do start sending in your questions. We're going to get to all of those in a little bit. Uh, so start writing those in. I'll try to get back to them. I'm going to pull out my phone here in just a second. We're not using your phone at all, so we'll actually be successful. It, <laughs> yes, exciting. I, I'm yes. trying to talk the wife into a new one, but it hasn't happened. Hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> that's going to be good. We're going to get all of those questions um, um, going. Uh, so, first things first. How's it? How's it been going? While we're waiting for people to jump on, what's been happening this week? We've been off the air for a week. Been off the air for a week. Uh, things at Mudbuddy are going well. Yeah. Uh, we're improving up on our uh, build times, so yeah. those have dropped down quite a bit from what the rumor I hear around the shop, uh, which is great. Yeah. We've getting a lot of. I'm taking a lot of phone calls about the 40s and the 50s, uh, what the differences are, where they can purchase them. So it's been amazing. Amazing yeah. last what? Two weeks? Yeah, about two weeks. About we've, two weeks. We've been off. So yeah, I think we're down to. Uh, we're getting good. We're we're on it. We're These catching up. Working, so we're catching up. <laughs> there is awesome. light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yes. So that's been really excellent. Anything else? You do anything fun this last couple of weekends? No, not really. You watch Just any football? Kind of, oh yeah, I watch my Vikings. You watch your Vikings? Yeah. They didn't beat. <laughs> they didn't beat the Packers, but they didn't lose to them. All right. Know. Okay. So I'll go I'm back. all right. They was, did not no, win. No, they did not win, but they did not lose. <laughs> no. So we're happy. Good for yes. you. Good job, Keith. So how about you? What would you have going on? You know, I really didn't do much. I got a cold. Oh, well, nice. It's so, still 85 degrees outside. No, yeah. I know, but listen, it's like that that change of season. Like, as you can tell, it's starting to change. Oh. I don't know what it is, but I got a cold and it kind of sucks, so I'm going home early. <laughs> going home early. Not this early, though. Not this early. As finish, soon as this is over, we got to finish the show. Just kidding. Because we have a lot of stuff to go we over. We do have summer. a lot of stuff to get over. So, the first thing I want to do today is I want to talk about our program, what we've got going on today. So, first things first, um, in just a second, we are going to announce our winners. Winners? Which, yes, our winners. Our big winners because uh, last week we did the Name the Boat Challenge. And so I've got the winners. Uh, we've got it covered up right here. We do have a Go winner. Really... No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> this is going to be big. So we're going <laughs> to announce that. After that, what are we doing? We're doing a lot of stuff. After, uh... <laughs> I'm lost on the page. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a tune-up challenge. Oh, we're tune up. We've got one of our lead techs. Yes. Is he our lead tech? He's one of our Low lead. Tech. I would know lead. Lead. He's, he's the man. When we have something that nobody else can go, right. you go get him. You go get him. And some, you know, he's Briggs certified. He's color certified. So he's got a lot of certifications, which is great for us here as, as the manufacturer of Mud Buddy, having those yes. certifications. So when customers have questions or people bring in boats, We've got a guy who's connected to... He's the one. He's the one. And we actually talked him into coming out here and standing in the hot uh, the hot zone. <laughs> the hot little shop. Yes. It's not as hot as, old, as it has been. Speaking speaking of hot, hopefully we won't overheat. <laughs> um, for all of you, I, I still... I'm sorry that that happened. But this time, hopefully, that's not going to happen. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, we're going to do that. We've got this tune-up. So, he's going to show you how to do some of this some of this work. Uh, we're gonna change some oil and just some of the basic tune-up. Just some of the stuff. basic, yeah. Some of the basic things that, you yes. know, some of you were already into early teal season. I know here coming Saturday here in Utah and up in Idaho, they've got uh, youth hunt starts on Saturday. Yes. The big boys still have to wait till October sixth before we get to go out and chase that little bird around. But it's coming. Yeah. And I'm excited. If you're excited. I'm excited. It's in the air. It you is. really can't tell. Especially it's... in the morning, you can feel it. Oh, it's man. down to the mid 40s. Yeah. 
Or at least when I get up in the morning, well, it is. In like midnight when you get up <laughs> for work. Um, all right, so let's jump into it right now. Um, I'm going to set this down because I don't need it right now. So we had so many great names come in. Thank you so much for everybody who posted. Um, we had a hard time deciding. There were a lot of really, really good names. So we couldn't pick just one. So we actually had a couple of runners up. So for, for the runners up, not the grand prize, but the uh, runner up prize, I have two of them. We are going to give away um, a tune up kit. I have two of these. Two, a, tune -up. Up, a tune up kit and a hat. Tune up kit and hat. Yes. That's better than a t-shirt and That's a hat. That's better than a t-shirt and a hat. We got a tune up kit and a hat. So what do we have in here? So what we've got is we've got the Briggs oil fuel filter, oil filter, a couple of the champion spark plugs, and the coveted tension tester. If you don't have one of yeah. these, you need to have one of these. This makes your life a lot easier when you tension the belt instead of yeah. guessing. Because yes. guessing doesn't do very well it either shreds or it breaks in half yes it's a so, good way to not have a good and then then yeah. the hat to cover your ball head so you don't get a sunburn while you're changing your oil outside nice so and we've got two of those i have two of these that i'm going to give away right now i'm going to set this down right here all right so our first runner up and these are in no particular order we right. loved all of these so one of the ones i loved the most was from Dirk Sauer with the name Marshmaster. I was, I was a nice one. I, I know. Was, I really like this name. It was hard to pick because there was, what, 20 plus names? Oh, there were a ton. It was hard to figure yes. out. And so this one is one, and we took it all around the office, all around the shop, right. asked people what their favorite, and so we did a lot of picking. We went back and forth. So Marshmaster, Dirk Sauer, congratulations. You are the winner of one of our uh, uh, tune-up kits and hats. Thank you so much for sending that in. That was an awesome name, Marshmaster, but not the one we're going with. Our other runner-up that we really love, this it was one of my most one favorites. One of your most? And it's from Dustin Everett with The Bandit. I, I like that one, too, I because know. Burt Reynolds Burt had Reynolds. passed away on that day, and it was just... It seems so appropriate. It, it did. It really did, but... But there already is a Bandit. Right. The Bandit's still out there. It is. So we couldn't go with that, but um, Dustin, we really did love that name, so thank you for sending that in. You also win a uh, the tune-up kit and the hat. So thank you guys. That was awesome. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? So, oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. So it's on. We have we have it stickered. It's already put on here and everything. So um, let's do it. All right. Our big winner is Bryce are Evans. Flipping? Are you yes. going that way? Salty Assassin. Our big winner. So there it is right there. She got a close-up of it. Bryce Evans, you are our big winner. Welcome, everybody. This is the Salty Assassin. Um, it's going to be with us this whole year. We're going to be riding around in it. We're going to do some Salty stuff. Salty Assassin. So, yes, <laughs> we are going to do that. We love that name because it was it's really appropriate because we're here in Salt Lake. And it's uh, salty here. And it's salty here. And Keith is also a little salty from time to time. Sometimes. Yeah. And what did he win? I so, forgot. I've got it right here. He won brand new prop. Oh, he got the, right here. He got the big blade. The big blade right here. Yeah. Bryce Evans, my friend, you got the big blade right here. A Congratulations. Great, great propeller. Yes. One of my favorites. One of the best. Right One here. One of the best. So that's exciting. It's right here on the side of the name. Thank you, everybody, for um, all of the names you sent in. That was really awesome. We really appreciate all your help. We're excited to have this boat. Keith, tell them about the boat. So we've got a 1754. Pro Hull F86. F86. It's a new model that came out with this year. I'm really excited looking forward to running it. We haven't got it all put together. We're about 90%. A couple little things yeah. to, uh, to put on it. Hopefully, we get to take it out on Maiden Voyage either the end of the week, maybe yeah. first of the week. I, yeah, we'll see Something what we can like do. That. Actually, it will. I'm pretty sure it will be out. If you are in the Utah area, it is very possible you will see the Salty Assassin Look for the out salty on the water. Salty Assassin so, with a couple youth hunters. Yes, so keep an eye out for that. You might see the Salty Assassin out there. Awesome. That was good. It was fun. Yeah. It was, it was good nice. Good job. Woo! I'm that glad was it's my, over, though. Yeah, me too. That was, I was nervous. All right, so now let's, uh, let's get to it. Should we, should we bring up the yes, master let's, technician? Let's get our professional in. I'm going to start uh, shouting out some comments and some questions here. We're going to get to those right now. Um, so let's head on over okay, to the motor. Let's go. All right, come this way. 
All right, I'm gonna just tuck myself right in there. Now you go over there with, you, you or uh, yeah, you go over there with Ricky, and I'll stand right here by myself next to all of the prizes. So we're gonna we bring to in away. our technician, uh, Ricky. He's one of our lead techs here at Mud Buddy. He helps us out when we need troubleshooting. Um, a great person to have around in the shop when the other guys can't get it done. We call him in. He's just gonna kind of walk us through. We've already drained the oil and done a little bit of prep work, so we don't have to go through the whole thing. But we will th run through a, a few quick steps, and I'm just going to let him tell you what he's doing and why he's doing it, because you all need to be doing it before you hit the water for the first duck hunt of the year. I feel like if we had a live studio audience, like we get a lot of applause. Like we'd do like, and hey. ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Ricky. Ricky. Yes, come oh, right here. Yeah, come yeah, right yeah, here, yeah, Ricky. Was, go right in there. Right in there. Right, right over here. Right here. There we go. Yes, right there. Uh, so, Ricky, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do here at Mud Buddy? Why you do it, and uh, what you're going to do for us today? All right. Well, why I do it? I think that was a great question. Yeah. Why I do it? I think we are all here at Mud Buddy because we love what we do. Yes. We take a great, a lot of pride in what we do. Um, the product that we put out, I think it's a. I, I like to say that it's the, the best out there. It, I and, agree. Um, and that's that's why we do it. Yes. That's why I'm here, and that's why we. Um, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. Yeah, we try to we try to make it better, stronger, and faster every day. Every day. Yes. Awesome. Innovative. Cool. Innovative. That that's was our word are. a little that while word, ago. Yeah. Awesome. And what are you going to do for us today? Well, like Keith was saying, uh, we're going to kind of walk you through the easy stuff, do the the, the tune-up, uh, changing yeah. plugs, oil, like you said, we, I already drank the oil on this thing. Okay. I don't want you guys waiting there patiently <laughs> for like five, well, eight minutes just, just watching these cute faces right here. Um, he thinks uh, he thinks we're cute. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say the other because <laughs> it's not appropriate. But, but ugly, um, is that what you're, yeah. dri is that what you're <laughs> driving at? Got it. So yeah, like I said, just plugs. The air filter, we don't really have to change anything. We have a K&N. This is one of the, the best motors. Keith, you, did you guys tell them what it was? No, we, we did not. We did you not. want to bring that camera in just a little closer and we'll get some kind of close-ups of what he's talking about. Yes. So this is the um, the brand new 5000 EFI. It is, the HDR 5000 HDR EFI. HDR 5000 EFI. One of the nicest camels that we are we're putting out right now. Oh, yeah. Um, I think this, this is uh, this is an amazing. This machine. is the top of the line right now. Yes. It doesn't get any better in our opinion or anywhere in the world than this motor right here. Exactly. We're really lucky to have this motor on our boat, um, and we're going to treat it very gently. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the videos out there? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta live up to our. Name, I know, though. I know, it's true, it's true. This I is, mean, I gotta. This is gonna. I still have to talk to Freddie <laughs> on the week. You know, I yeah. still have to talk to him, so I gotta. No, we'll do good. Yeah, no, this is. I personally put my touch on this motor, so I know it's going to be. Yeah. There's no. You guys are not gonna get stuck anywhere. Good. That's good. That's good to know. That is. I will hold you personally do, responsible yes. for that. I know who to yell at. Because <laughs> if we do, we're calling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go ahead and get started. So, I'm just going to start. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Like I said, yeah. I'm going to show you guys like I, oh, the uh, the oil. There is no oil in there anymore. Um, I'm going to show you how to take the plugs out, put them back in. Um, we have coppers in here. I'm going to put some platinum copper, uh, platinum plugs in here. Um, obviously, our royal purple yeah either this thing or vr1 keith knows all about this stuff it's, it's a good oil because it's high in zinc and that's Anything what that uh, is high in zinc micah and glenn are both uh royal purple and vr1 fans yeah so. they're big fans yep that is correct cool um, all right so you go ahead and get started i'm gonna right. just throw out a couple of questions bob bob dryer our hey, good friend is bob. on he says don't change your attitude too much guys you're great last season bob I, we'll get you some stuff. You don't have to suck up so bad. <laughs> Just kidding. We love you, Bob. We really appreciate you watching. Number two, the second year's always got to be better than the first year. Absolutely. We don't we're striving wanna, yeah, we're, for innovation. We don't want to be the sequel that takes a dive. Oh, man. That would be the worst. Uh, Clint Wynn says, those are some nice shirts. They are nice yes. shirts. Yes. We love these shirts. And they're um, available 
A they, backwater performance. They are. They absolutely are. Um, we're a little low on sizing right now, but um, they will. We, there are more coming in. They're on the if, way. If you're an extra large guy like me, I know there's plenty. There and there's are some, plenty. There's some extra large. Uh, if, double X. If you are a smaller gentleman like myself, there are none for you. No, there are nothing for nothing. At least for not you. today. But they are coming very soon. Uh, oh yeah. You've got a lot of stuff coming in. I do. Sydney Schaefer, to celebrate the first episode, I went and picked up a new 40 special anniversary. Headed home now. Great job. Woo! Sydney, that is, yeah, it's a good choice. Great choice. Bubba Ramsey, best prop to push a heavy load. He this is probably our most common question these days. Heavy loads is going to be, in my opinion, to get you up and going is a big blade. Yeah. You know, uh, I agree. That's going to be your best thing. If you're looking for more speed, upper end speeds, I would do the Raptor. But for better lower, for end lower, speed, uh -huh, for that pushing the heavy loads, I would go with the with the big blade. Yes. And what Enrique's doing now is just kind of pulling off the cover, the wire side cover. There's four bolts that hold that cover on. And those of you who have these motors, instead of removing the bolt back here that goes into the head. So there's no issues or anything if you cross thread it where you're going to have to put a uh, helicoil, helicoil or, replace the head. or replace the head. So there's four bolts on two on each side of the cover. Just remove those. It's a 10 millimeter head on those bolts and that'll pull the wire side cover off and you're probably not going to ruin anything or damage it if you're not paying attention how you put those screws back in the head. So just kind of a heads up, something that we've learned here because I'm sure it's happened to us at least once. Or twice. Oh, we, or twice. <laughs> we always seem to find out the hard way sometimes. Yes, but yes. That's, that's, that's we, tell you, we tell you things because we've already done it. We, yeah, we've experienced it. So, so you got some more questions there, I, Mr. I, Jeff? Or I do. You're shuffling through. I am. Well, I've got, yeah, I've got, I've got a lot. Um, we've got to be able to give something away now because I know that oh little goodness. table. Let's, let's do it right now. Um... Let's see, I love that last question, actually. actually Bubba Ramsey, um, with that question, let's do um, let's do a BPS hat. A BPS hat. This is their new hat style, and it's really nice. Have you felt that? They're, they're a nice hat. I actually it's a have, really nice hat. I have a gray one with the orange and black logo oh, sure. on that I really like. Perfect. It's a little bit cooler in the summer, but the summer ends coming down. So, Bubba. Bubba. Bubba Ramsey, um, send in a, a private message on this feed, and we'll get your information from you with your um, uh, with your address, we'll get that sent out to you. And make sure you put down BPS. And also, wasn't there a link for on there the is. comments? There is. So on the top, the very first comment on this thread, there is a link you could click, and it will take you to a little form that you'll fill out, and you'll put in your info there. That's, That's actually good. a better way. You're oh, right. I'm sorry. Don't no, PMS. No, no. We don't care. Don't PMS. <laughs> yeah, click that link. That's right. Don't PMS. Don't PMS. Let's just... Yeah. Just right. fill out, click the link, fill out your information, put down the BPS hat, and we will get that baby off to you. We yes. still have a ton of stuff. We to do have away. a lot of stuff. Um, Bob, I said something mean. I'm feeling a little bad that I called you out on that, Bob. I'm actually going to send you, um, uh, what are we, what are the new Sitka, the new the, green the Sitka? The new Sitka, yeah, it's a nice hat. Yeah. It's got the, uh, oh, it's That's got the Excel logo brand on new, it. Yeah, these are brand so new. Bob, we just got these. make sure you go to the top of the comments. Click on that, fill out the information that will get to us, and we will send you your new green Sitka hat with the Excel logo on it. So thanks for being with us, Bob. We know you're one of one of those who are always with us, and we really appreciate that. Yes. Oh, and remember, guys, to like and to share, because there's some of your friends that won't be able to watch this live. Yes. So share that with them. Also, I'm not sure with the... Uh, YouTube account YouTube. Stuff? If you are watching on YouTube right now, because those of you watching live, this will go up on YouTube in uh, probably later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. So for people to watch, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification when these new videos pop up. That sounds amazing. Yes. Simple. Simple. We don't want you to miss a single moment. Um, we've had some good compliments on the new name, cool. which is good. We're happy about that. Um, Ethan Cartwright, best mode, mud motors on the market, fully support them. Really Thank you. appreciate that. Um, okay, B oh, Bubba Ramsey, another question. Average hours to do the tune ups at? Tune ups, uh, spark plugs, um, belt tension, grease to drive, 
fuel filter about every 50 hours. The oil, we're kind of leaning towards the 25 hour mark. 25 hours. 25 mark. hours on oil and filter on yes. that one. So, and make sure you use a good oil, uh, good filters, mm -hmm. and change it. The more often you change it, the better off you are. When you spend eight to ten thousand dollars on a motor by trying to skimp and save 20 bucks, it's, it's really not worth it. You're not doing yourself no, any you're favors. You're not doing so, any favors. So, as a follow up to that, Sydney Chafin asks Is it possible to change your oil too much? I don't think so. You know, I, 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 I don't think you be. need to change it more than every 25 hours, but I'm sure there are guys who do. Yeah. And, you know, I don't think. Not going to hurt it. As much as your pocketbook can stand, I guess. Yeah. But at minimum 25 hours. Um, Brooks Catmull asks Can I get his autograph? Go Ricky. Go Ricky, hey. I don't know what I don't know what you're all thinking out there, but nobody cares, okay, about Ricky. No autographs. I care about Ricky because he, he, he makes everybody favorite. else's job a little bit easier because when we're stuck, he, he comes in and he does. he does a lot of specialty stuff that you're right. He does, and only he does. So. All right, I'll be nicer. Okay, be all nicer. Right. Um where are we at, Ricky? Do we need to switch over and look at what some of this is? What's going on here? Well, I didn't I don't know what to tell you, Jeff. Oh, well, I'm hurt. You're hurt now. You're all. Nah, you're all sad. You're gonna cry. Cry it out a little bit later. I don't get hurt. No. <laughs> I don't care either. You are a rock. Okay, so Keith, um, you mentioned something. We that we are giving to those guys the tension tool. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how to. Uh, I can't show you a lot. Like I don't know how much you can uh, zoom in, but I, I'll show you guys how to use it. Um, don't try to tension your belt with your hand or a measuring tape or any of that stuff. That tool, it's a, I don't even know what the price is on that tool. I can't imagine it's more expensive than two hours of labor and a new belt or new bearings or that it'll cost you by not tensioning it right. Right. Um, um, get hold of uh, Travis and uh, Corbin at Backwater, Backwater Performance. Performance. They've got them for them. sale there. It's just a Gates belt tension tester. Yep. A great little tool and will save you a lot of heartache uh, down the road. Oh, yeah. What is that? Now we have. Your hand? Now this is this is the 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 cheap tool that is going to save you a lot of money. This is a not so cheap tool that is going to save you a lot of money as well. Um, this is more for like for us that we do it all the time. Uh, maybe some dealers out there that are um, maybe not that are um, doing this all the time more than the regular person doing it on the garage. Um, what this is, this is an ultrasonic tool. It measures the sound waves on your, um, that your belt. So you go in, put the microphone right next to your belt, kind of uh, flicker your belt a little bit. It'll measure the sound waves and whatnot. It's kind of technical. So um, this is, for us, this is the best tool. This is what we use here in the shop. Um, but uh, for you guys out there, so, do you want to explain how the, the notches work? Can you see the notches? Uh, uh, probably not. <laughs> but if you look really close, Amber, I don't know how close you can get. You can see it's got like a little measuring tape on there. If you've got the red and black new style belt, you're going to move that five lines, which is roughly five sixteenths of an inch. If you have the old yellow and black belt, you're only going to move it four lines. And what you're going to do is when you insert this into the, cat, into the uh, motion base, you're going to rest it just up against the belt, then you're going to push it in, and as you push it in, this little O-ring is going to move. And when the O-ring moves, and I can't see the numbers on that, it's going to give you the indication of where the belt tension is. And we want to be anywhere between 12 to 16, 17 pounds. This is a brand new motor. It's probably only got an hour on it, maybe. It has about 45 minutes. 45 minutes, so it's going to have a really good tension. Yeah. So... So when you guys when you guys get your motor uh, right out of the crate, it's gonna be at twenty between nineteen and twenty pounds. Um, after what ten hours, you think? Ten, say ten hours, hours, you could check it, and, and after then, that, you check it. If it's it's going to be anywhere between seventeen to twenty. Yeah, you'll you'll right? lose roughly about a pound, maybe two at the most. Exactly. So, so what Keith is talking about, we are going to insert this. And then, um, so you want to take a reference, the wall of the, of the motion base. You push it in about five sixteenths of an inch or five notches. I'll do it roughly. And now, like you guys notice, 
there is this um, this o-ring right now we might have it at 18 pounds which is with the 45 minutes now what is going to happen if you if you put it too tight if we put it too tight if we if you go too tight the easy indication on a, on a broken belt with its over tension it will it'll just crack right across it'll be a straight line crack if it's under tension it tends to beat itself and it'll fray so you'll have a bunch of uh a bunch of uh cloth and nylon and stuff at the bottom of your belt box so it's pretty easy to tell when you have a belt problem if it's over tension or under tension now that's the best case scenario because i've seen some crankshafts broken i've seen drives that are no good after 10 hours of use um pto covers the bearing on the on the actual crankshaft that holds your uh your pto cover your crankcase cover it breaks and it, it's I mean, you don't want that to happen. So, what is 30, 35 About three, yeah. I, I mean, something like that. I don't know the price exactly on it. To spend on that, and then I think it's a really good investment to have when you do your tune-up. Amen. Um, I agree. Now, I'm going to, we know the, be, the belt tension is good. We got new spark plugs. I'm going to go ahead and put, just dump the oil in. I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be. No. Is it really is not long. so I'm just gonna go ahead and have you guys you do we'll whatever just, you we'll need just, to we'll do just I'm gonna go ahead and yeah go ahead like, and answer questions why you do oh, what you do get okay. stuff out uh, <laughs> give me something I don't know oh we probably need to I'll get sign whatever you guys to, want me to sign to, to give away right here Let's I, see. I, apparently I have Let one fan see. so <laughs> you have a fan yeah are you excited about that uh, yes okay oh here we go I want to be like you guys when I grow up. I did. Okay. Sorry. Just uh, skip back. Okay. Christopher Owens. What do you recommend with a 13 and a half foot by 50 inch layout boat? Maybe by four rivers. Can't decide between surface drive or long tail. A lot of rivers. If you're running small, short runs, um, the long tail is a good economical machine. Yeah. It's a good price range. Um, if you're running long distances, you want to go with a short tail. I think probably a long tail would be a, a good one for that. It's a small little boat. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I absolutely think so. Uh, Christopher, Tangle Free Hat, right oh, here for you. I like that. Hat. I know that's a brand new. That that just came in from from Tangle Free. We really love these guys. They have really done a lot a lot of good for us. So we we're, we're happy about we that. We appreciate them jumping on board with us and. Uh, being one of our sponsors. Yes. It's amazing how many vendors and sponsors we've had come that we've been able to reach out to and, and get a nice working relationship with. Yes, absolutely. Casey Brady, I need to bring in my 6000 HD for a tune-up. What's the process? What should they do if you're local and you need a tune-up? Can they bring it here? Can they do that? Is that something we do? Uh, right, right now, we're not doing anything. Give Travis a call over Backwater Performance. Yes. Um, in fact, Travis is actually watching right now, so hey. he heard that comment, so he knows what you're talking about. Casey, get a hold of him. Travis, you be ready for that call. Yeah, Travis, we're just so busy here right now building stuff to get a tune-up in. It's not really going to happen, but give Travis a call, and he'll hook you up. Yes, They absolutely. do a great job over there. Um, Travis White. Um, just bought an F86, 1754, and HDR40. Really awesome. Pick it up this weekend. What sort of break-in procedure should I follow? This is a great question. It is a great question. Uh, when you get your owner's manual, when you pick up your motor and your boat, there's actually a few pages that you'll need to go over. Yes. We recommend that always check the oil. They ship with the oil, but always check the oil. First. Always check the oil. And then you want to read the directions and um, follow the... Uh, the directions in the manual. I think it says run the first two hours about half throttle or less and vary the speed. Uh, hour two through four, you can get up to about three quarters throttle. Just vary the speed and then right. take care of it. And then after you get about 10 to 12 hours on it, a valve adjustment, an oil change, and you're ready to rock and roll. But just follow the manual. It'll It'll give you some great ideas there what to do. Very nice. Um, Travis White, to go along with your new motor, this is my favorite prize. This is the one I've been waiting for. I love this. This is a Lucky Duck. Um, it's a like a tumbler. What do you? I'd what say do you call a little it? tumbler. It gets a cup. It's got a lid. 
Uh, it's insulated. These are really awesome. It's I, copper. I, don't I have love one of those. I know you don't. But you do. I do. Because they like me more. <laughs> so, Travis White, that is for you. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you for the question. Um, all right. Let's see. I've got a question from William Licht. I'm not sure. I'm probably not saying that at, at all right. But he says, I have an XL F4 1854 with a 36 Sport V. What speed should I be getting? Motor is all stock. Motor is all stock. A lot of it just depends on your load. Yes. You should be mid, mid to upper 20s. You know, there's not a whole lot of gearing change you can do there or anything. A big blade prop would work good to help you there with the speeds and, and getting a heavy load. But it all comes down power to weight. If you've got too much weight, you've only got so much power. So there's a yeah. there's a fine line right. of give and take there. So Absolutely. Bubba Ramsu, who has been on... I don't know why everybody's sucking up to Ricky right now, but... <laughs> Ricky's I, got another follower? <laughs> if I buy a motor, can Ricky sign the cover? Yes, Ricky yes. will sign the cover if you, if you let us know. <laughs> let us know. Um, it will cost you extra. <laughs> he has a five dollar signing. It's a five dollar signing fee. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm streaming through. Awesome. Um, Tanner Lazowski just posted in. What is the best prop for running a lot of river and sand? Uh, heavy loads, big blade. I, I, I like the big blade. I do too. I do. I really do. The one thing you got to watch about running in the sand, the longer you keep that prop in the sand, the faster your prop will disappear. Yep. The sand is so abrasive, it will just put a hurt on your propeller, unfortunately. So yeah. keep it out of the sand as much as you can. But we understand when you need it to get in the sand, it will get you there. All right. Oh, let's see. Here's one. Um... Brooks Catmull, I have a 23 Mini, which is one of my most favorite motors. I love our 23s and our, our our little Minis. I have a 23 Mini with a Mikuni heads, exhaust, big blade. There was a tube going from the head of the air filter and the stock setup. What do I do with that open hole now? I'm not sure I followed that. There was a tube going from the head to the air filter on the stock setup. Oh, on the stock setup? That's yes. just a blow by. You could go into a auto parts store and get a little um, aftermarket little breather tube. Oh, okay. It's just for crankcase blow by. Okay. So you can just do something like that with it. On the stock system, it goes from the, it bends from the crankcase back into the motor, but being you put all that other performance stuff on there, just put a little um, filter on there that you can pick up at a local auto parts place. Sure, awesome. Um, very good. Brooks, in fact, new tangle free. That's a, that's that, uh, isn't that a? That's a Optifade that Marsh. That is, that's an Optifade Marsh from, tangle, from free. tangle free. Yeah, so that's a. Another that's new a, sponsor for yeah. us this year. Yeah, so we love that. Um, I've got a lot of people just saying, pick me. Pick me. <laughs> okay, well, pick you. What are we picking? Pick you. <laughs> I've picked you. I've officially picked you. So let's just pick one. Just All pick right. One. Okay. All right. I'll pick let's, one. How about let's Brent? Go. How about Brent Zimmerman? Brent, you he just... said pick me. Brent Zimmerman, I'm picking you for the Echo call. We're just giving you the oh, trash man. talker from Echo. This is uh, from our buddy Rick Dunn and his boys oh, at boy. Echo Calls. Great calls. Great company. Yes. So enjoy this. Make sure you go up to the first comment in our post. Click on that link. Fill out the information. And we will get yeah, this to get you sent as up? fast as we can. Absolutely. And I promise, it's stapled and it will remain stapled. So you will be the first and one. You'll to be use the this. first one to blow it. <laughs> also, I have a pick me from Sean Bolt. Sean. So Sean, let's do uh, Mallard Madness. Mallard Madness. Mallard Madness. Freddie and the Boys. Freddie King and Rick Dunn. All those guys. That's a great DVD. You're gonna learn. I, in fact, I need to be. Watching those. Work, yeah, I do. I really do. I need to be practicing with that. The great tips in here. I uh, look forward Shumble. to some more stuff from Freddie this year, doing some uh, some more teaching and instruction about how to become a good duck hunter and a lot about etiquette and yes. stuff. Because I think we something that you and I need to help teach mm -hmm. about etiquette because there's a new generation coming in, etiquette's not being passed on, and guys, there's a lot of written rules about duck hunting. And there's a lot of unwritten rules. Unwritten rules. So you need yes. to know the unwritten rules. And we're going to work with uh, Freddie King. We're going to work with we got Jay Paul Jackson, Jay Paul Jackson. Is helping us out. Dave, of course, so, um, from here is really great. Longtime hunter. 
Um, so we got a lot of a lot of skill, a lot of yes. years and years of knowledge of knowledge, yes. and they're gonna and we want to impart that. So that's really excellent. Um, okay, let's see. I had a good one that I was just gonna throw out. Oh, um, Bubba asks, what setup does Freddie have right now? And no, I, am, I don't know. I believe Freddie has a. Um, I believe he's an 1854, or it's a 1754, but it's a Pro Hole, I'm pretty sure. He, I, I don't yes. know what he's going to we'll have to ask I him think, I will have to ask him. Hopefully we'll get him to post in. I'm, I'll call him and make sure he posts in on this, because he, uh, he's got a great setup. He loves he loves that boat, man. Remember, like and share. We need you to like, and we need you to share. Michelle Webb, what about the women, LL? She's here. Uh -oh. Yes. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much for watching. Um, Michelle. Oh, there we go. It's one of my last. I got a... It's a sling. It's a waterfowl sling. It's a waterfowl sling for your shotgun. Yes. It's the Optifade camo it, in the Marsh yes, series. In the Marsh series. And, and this is from Tangle Free. These guys have got some know, great products. Guys, man. Go check out their website. They've been great supporters. We've yes. got a lot more cool things that we won't tell you about the Tangle Free sent us, but we appreciate them. And this is going to be looking good on your shotgun. If you don't have a shotgun, make your man get you a shotgun. Yes. You will need a shotgun. You will need a shotgun. So, All right. Let's see. We're getting down to just a couple prizes left. There's I know. We really I'm do. I know. It's your favorite thing. Yes. Do you want to give it away? Do you? Okay. No, I don't want to give it away, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> All right. How about this one? Dustin Cooley writes, best rig I've ever had is my Sport V. All right. 44. I love those Sport Vs. Hey, hey you know what? <laughs> Here it is. I know. I was happy to he see that. He loves his Sport V. So We're gonna, well, I'm going to give him the shirt that I wanted. You wanted this shirt. And I'm not going to autograph it for you because oh. I don't want to ruin the shirt. You don't want to ruin the shirt. This is a shirt by Deep. It's a beautiful fabric. It's nice and stretchy. Yeah, cool. And I love the color. Yes. And I'm a little you upset with Anne put it in the giveaway because I was going to be wearing this. And the, moment, it, the chance I had to borrow it permanently... Disappeared. Really disappeared. Fast. I know it vanished. So you we're going not. to uh, pass that on. So Dustin Cooley with your Sport V44 on his Pro Hole 1754, which is this boat right here. He also asked, "Thanks for making great machines. What prop would be best if I upgraded?" So I'm not sure what you've got on it right now. Probably a probably hand, a big blade. A big blade big probably blade. came with that. With that, I would probably stick with that big blade. I, I if, would. If you're looking for speed, um, you could look at going with that hammer, that 44. Sport V would probably spin that ham or that uh, Raptor blade. It would be, yeah. It all might. right for it uh, with that 44 um, if you're looking to upgrade. But I, yeah. you know, that, that, that big blade, that's it, what you got. It's a hard prop to beat. It really yeah. is. Um, congratulations, though, Dustin. That's a, that's a good shirt. And you just really, won really my good. shirt. My so this free is my, shirt. This is my last one. It's a little koozie. Everybody likes Probably koozies. what I use more than anything else. <laughs> um... Um, Andrew Perro, what motor do you recommend with a low Roughneck 1660 uh, Mud Buddy motors? He's going to put a Mud Buddy on his low 16 footer. A uh, 16 footer, you could probably get away with the 40 horse, a 35. Yeah. I, I like the 40 horse just because it's a nice performance engine built by Briggs, and they come with a three year warranty. And, and three year warranty is just amazing, and it's a nice thing to have when you have a Mud Buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, let's step forward because we're done here with the prizes. I've got those all out. Uh, Andrew, uh, that's that uh, that koozie there is for you. Awesome. Uh, Michelle just wrote in. She's got a, a Browning A5. A good. Yes. That'll be Which great awesome. on your gun. Yes. So, Ricky, step on in. Are we all good? Did we get everything yeah, that we needed to tell that's them? That's pretty much it. I mean, just everything you guys need to know. There is a... Before you get out on the water, just make sure you got your props. Um, I've seen a lot of props that are not very tight on the shaft. Um, okay. Make sure the props tight. Um, make sure you have enough grease all over where the grease is supposed to be. Um, and you guys be safe out there, man. I yeah. can't. I we can't say that. No, enough. you can't say it enough. You know. I mean, no, that's true. That's you need to be really safe out there. Wear your life jackets and wear your life jackets. Shoot we're straight. Shoot straight. And, shoot straight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good, good shooting, good safety, and no. all of that. Um, awesome. We're going to call it there. We've been on for a little while. Thank you so much, Ricky, for joining from, us and uh, being a part of this. Um, I do want to give a big all shout out to every single one of our sponsors. Echo Calls was really huge. We love them so much. Please go to all of these websites. 
um, uh, give a shout out on these threads. We love them for all they've done. So Echo Calls, Tangle Free was really amazing. They've given us lots of stuff, lots more to come from them. BPS, as always, uh, really great to support us, both with all the help and the questions and being able to, to really help us out. Deep Apparel had that shirt. We're, we've got lots of new stuff coming in with Deep Apparel. They've been really great. You're going to see a lot of their stuff coming up over the next little while, next few weeks. Um, XL Boats, of course. We yes. love them and all the help that they do. Lucky Duck, uh, great decoys. We love them and all the help that they have uh, given to us and support. Um, and also, I want to give a special shout-out to Dave at Carousel, um, Carousel Hat Company. They're the ones who put on our sticker for uh, our name. Um, they did such a great job. They kind of, they rushed job. We picked our name and they came right on over, put that incredible uh, logo on and they also do great wraps and all sorts of stuff. They're really great over there. We use them for a lot of stuff. We love them. Thank you guys so much for uh, all your help and support. And that, my friends, is that. Thank you so much for watching. Walking? Walking. Woo! Yes. Tired. That cold. <laughs> Tune in next week. We are going to be out with this boat, this rig. We're going to take the maiden voyage next Wednesday. Um, we're going to try and be safe, like Ricky says. We're going to try. We are we're going to be, be safe. safe. We're going to be safe, but we're going to take this bad boy out for a maiden voyage. We're going to see what she can do. We're going to see what she can do. So tune in next week. That'll be right around the same time, I believe. But keep an eye out um, on the Facebook channels, and we'll be giving you the exact time for that. Um, anything else? Just like and share, guys. We, like and we, share. We want to get out there. Yes. We want to be able to share what we have with you guys yes. and also everything that our sponsors have given us. Absolutely. It took Ambry quite a few hours to, uh, to put, put this all those, together. Put it together. So, and that is job. the ultimate shout out that we really need to do. A huge thank you to Ambry, our producer, who has put all of this together. Tell us even right down to make sure that uh, where our hair, our lack of hair is combed, and our <laughs> matching shirt. our shirts are tucked in, and all of a sudden she has done a really incredible job. So everybody, big shout out to Henry. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next week for the shallow water. We'll be right here.